When buying fresh fruits and vegetables for your family, of course you want the best quality, but you don't want an outrageous price tag. No, you certainly don't. So I went out to Burwinkle Farms in Ross to talk with a local farmer about the difference in cost between produce that's grown locally versus at a grocery store. I come out to Burwinkles just to get the corn. It would be much closer for Neil Sackenheim to get his corn from a grocery store. But going here, you, it's really the good stuff, and it's it's also supporting local. Our corn is picked fresh every single morning at 6 a.m. Uh, you're not going to find that at the grocery store. What you might find at the grocery store, a slightly lower price. I was just thinking, it's been a little while since I bought a dozen here or whatever, and I saw $9 a dozen, and I remember it being somewhere around 6 and it wasn't all that long ago, maybe just a couple of years. And just like the customers, inflation is impacting farmers too. I mean, we're families too. We have to shop at the same stores you guys shop at. We see the prices increase, and so we're doing what we can to not increase our prices. Burwinkle says the cost of production, gas prices, and what they pay their employees has all gone up. Employee pricing has, you know, skyrocketed because we want to treat our employees well. It's a we we value that. We value them and we want to make them feel that. And in doing so, Burwinkle says sometimes they're left with no other option but to raise prices. It's not a significant increase. I feel like, you know, my grocery bill has increased like 25 to 30 percent. I would say our prices increased maybe 10 percent. There are also ways you can get farm fresh produce for less. So sometimes we have um, an abundance of a certain product. So take, for example, sweet corn. A couple weeks ago, we had an oversupply of sweet corn. We were able to offer bulk pricing at a lower cost so that you're able to take it home, freeze it, and then enjoy it all winter long. You can call Burwinkle Farms and ask to be put on their list, and then they'll give you a call once they have produce in bulk. Taylor Nimmo, WCPO 9 News.